Hi guys, um, I've got a, a problem with um, one of my ZI8 cameras and it's this little lead that comes out of the side. Um, when I plug the camera in um, to uh, download the pictures, it, uh, the computer says it doesn't recognise or doesn't see the camera. Um, and I put it down to a fault in this lead. And what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to go through just confirming that fault but it's given me the opportunity to uh, look at uh, this camera and see how it compares for close-up work um, to the ZI8 because uh, uh, the ZI8 is, uh, is convenient. Um, so this is the little beast and it's a tiny little plug and socket arrangement and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the meter um, from uh, the, the various pins to the various pins. Now I know if I try and connect this and I have a bit of wire stuck in the end of there, I haven't got a spare plug um, uh, to, to go into here so I'm going to have to poke bits of wire in. But I know if I poke a bit of wire in and then I start flexing this, I won't know if it's a poor connection that I've introduced um, or if it's a break in the wire. So what I'm going to do I'm going to arrange to short out all of those pins with a little bit of uh, wire and link all of the pins together. And to do that I'm going to strip a bit of wire. And uh, uh, we've got uh, five, I think it is, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five uh, tiny uh, sockets there. And what I'm going to do is push uh, a wire into each socket. So with my uh, bit of wire for a short circuit, I'm going to just fold those over and I'm going to push five of them into the sockets. Just give you some idea of uh, how fiddly uh, this is. Uh, that's the head of a match. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky and uh, probably when I was 20 I could do it a little easier. What I'm doing here is made really difficult because uh, the back of the camera that I'm looking through, the screen, is actually four inches to the left of the center of the lens where my hands are working so it's a, a bit of a, a challenge of uh, uh, hand-eye coordination here. If I had my time again I would love to have been a surgeon. I'm trying to do this half looking down the back of the camera and half looking underneath the camera Okay, that, that should nicely short out all of them. What I've done is I've taken um, a USB socket off an old um, uh, um, internet hub. So that'll give me the connection for the other end. But uh, say I simply haven't got anything um, as small as uh, this connector. Now I can put a meter on and when I, uh, when I move the wires um, I haven't got to worry too much about any possible fault there. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, use the AVO, good old fashioned analog meter, and the reason for that is the, the response from this is instant. As soon as it uh, makes contacts or breaks contacts, so it moves. Whereas with a digital meter, there's always a delay, and um, I'm, I'm looking for a, an intermittent fault on, on this. Okay, what I've done is I've identified the screen at this end, so that'll be the thickest cable. Um, and uh, so I've got one side of the meter connected to the screen, and then I'm going to go through each of the terminals one after the other. So I'm expecting that to go across because they're all shorted out. And the meter is staying across. In fact, let's... Uh, Let's zoom in and see. 
Okay, so we would say the, the first wire is okay. Now we're moving on to the second wire. And again, that looks okay. that right oh, well that's that's interesting that's what I expected to see so is that fault Where is it? okay so I would predict, as, as you would expect, that the wire is broken right on that corner. Okay, so now I'll look at the, uh, the last wire. So that's the second wire. Okay, so it's just one wire that's broken. So I've got the prospect of buying another one of these and having the same fault develop um, uh, as has developed on this. Or I simply repair this and put a different piece of wire in that's more flexible. So that's where the uh, screen is uh, insulated there. And then uh, let's get this uh, out of the way. I have made another video that shows how to uh, get to uh, this plug in, uh, how to get to this plug in the camera. Is it's uh, it's not easy. Right then, we've got a, a foil. I think I'm zoomed in a bit too close there. Uh, we've got the foil, that should have a, an end to it. Let's get that out of the way. So this is not a very flexible wire. Uh, considering the application it's used for and they seem to be bonded together unless it's just uh, heat affected from the soldering that uh, it's been subjected to. Yeah, that is, that is not a, a flexible wire, look at that. Why on earth did they use the wrong wire? But given the application, that doesn't look like the best choice when you think of the, uh, the, the nice soft coppers or flexible coppers that are available. I've pruned this back now to get to the bit that I'm uh, interested in. And I'm just... So there's the bit that's actually failed. There. And uh, just to put it in context so you can get some idea, uh, that's the head of a match, so it's a tiny, tiny little wire. Um, right. And there you go. So, uh, just uh, a little uh, fatigue. Uh, copper work hardens, so the more you bend it, the more. Uh, the harder it gets, and of course, um, it'll only do that for so long. This is the little pivot point for the USB arm, so I'll just pop that back in, and then when we put this in place, you can see that that uh, a failure was uh, right at the place where the the pivot point. Uh, 
bends that bit of wire. So that, that went round there. So uh, an absolutely predictable failure. Unfortunately, the uh, wire failed on the drawing board, or I guess <laughs> in the computer design there. And uh, uh, clearly the wire is simply not flexible enough to uh, give a good service life. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's not a, a few cameras with uh, the same problem. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing here is uh, bodging it up and uh, I'm just uh, soldering a, a little bit of wire in uh, that'll uh, just bridge that gap and then what I'm going to do is cover it with uh, insulation tape you can see I've already covered the screen um, uh, cable uh, with insulation tape so I'll just bind up the whole thing and um, uh, there will not be any uh, sort of point of focus where it bends just the whole thing will flex uh, hopefully so um, I'm not sure as I'll bother buying a new lead and uh, you know that's going to have exactly the same problem on. If I'd got a, a different um, uh, USB plug I may have been inclined to have changed the plug and uh, um, uh, just something com done something completely different with it. But anyway, so this, this is just a bodge um, but you'll see at the end of the video um, uh, I test the, the camera and there's a bit of footage uh, made with the the camera that I've just uh, in the process of fixing here. So here I've got the uh, the USB plug fitted back in. I'm going to leave that steel uh, pin out because uh, it's only going to get in my way. I'll keep it safe so as if I buy a new lead uh, I can uh, fit it back in properly but I'll see how long this one lasts me. Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be every bit as good as the original one. So that's the uh, camera finished. Bit of a bodge, I know, but at least the uh, uh, the camera's working and uh, and usable, which will be good. Okay, that still works. Uh, that's the camera that I'm using. And uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.